There's so many leaks and rumors surrounding the Galaxy S10, but I wanna focus on one in particular in this video. Samsung has dropped quite a few statements and you know, hints around releasing a device in the US during the first half of 2019 that has 5G and also packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Now with the S10 right around the corner, only one could assume that it should have it. So it's with that assumption that we could kind of start, you know, gathering some of the features that the S10 should have if it in fact does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. Because the chipset alone offers a few things without any additional features from the phone. Which we will talk about because a few months ago, I went out to Hawaii for the Qualcomm Tech Summit and it was at this event that I got the opportunity to see firsthand some of the things in which Qualcomm will be bringing to the market. And one of those things being the 855 chip which packs quite a few things like improved audio. So you're gonna have a smooth audio connection as it'll stop signal distortion therefore your audio quality is less impacted by things which it normally would be like when you place your phone in your back pocket and your audio then sometimes wants to creep in and out it will no longer do that you'll also notice reduced latency and if the rumors are true and it does have this chip then you'll also notice an improvement on the fingerprint sensor as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 also packs a 3D sonic sensor which means you're now gonna have that under display fingerprint scanner in a Samsung device but I think the cooler thing here is how well it should be able to read your fingerprint because now it'll be able to detect the ridges and the pores of your finger. So you know those moments when you're sitting there, you know, eating your meal, you touch your phone or you're cooking, you touch your phone, you're outside in the rain, you touch your phone and it fails to scan your fingerprint. That shouldn't happen or at least happen a lot less on the Galaxy S10. The chipset also provides 4K HDR video with portrait bokeh, which is super cool to me because who doesn't like the blurry background in their videos and images? Like, I think everybody tries to go for that effect. So now to be able to have it kind of like my DSLR camera on my phone is pretty cool. And on top of that, you can also add this video effect to photos and videos in which someone sends you. So you're not just restricted to doing it into the content you create. And there are other improvements in the camera as well, such as like real-time object recognition, segmentation, and replacement, which is gonna allow users to isolate and swap out the backgrounds and objects in real time. And it's with things like this that we can eventually start to see things down the road with apps that will then take advantage of this technology in ways that I'm personally excited about, like detecting your hair and replacing it color so you can see the new look that you might have been debating in real time. On top of that, photos should also save in HEIF format, which is gonna help reduce the size of your pictures and videos. So that means more storage space. And then there are also a few other features that are gonna be natively built into the camera due to the 855 chip to further close that gap between your DSLR camera and your phone. Another thing you're gonna find is more power as the 855 chip has a 45% faster CPU than the previous gen, which means you're gonna have better gaming with features like the Snapdragon Elite gaming experience, which helps reduce drop frames by 90%. And then there'll also be improvements on AR and VR activities as they should run smoother, so you can better take advantage of things in the future in which apps can bring to this. And of course, we can't forget 5G. So it's a little bit more than just having faster internet speeds, but honing in on that, once carriers properly implement 5G networks, you'll be able to have data speeds that are somewhat, I guess, comparable or comparable to Wi-Fi speeds, which means eventually you'll be able to download full resolution movies that are like one or two gigs in just a matter of seconds. Now, in addition to learning about the new Snapdragon 855 from Qualcomm, they also shared a few other releases, such as the 8CX, which is designed to bring always connected PCs that should pack extreme performance as well as battery life. So what I'm looking forward to with something like that is experiencing, you know, the true definition on a computer of all Always connected because then your computer will have built-in LTE which means just like you can pull out your phone and instantly connect to the internet you'll be able to do that with your computer without having to fumble with personal hotspot or Wi-Fi and it not only then instantly power on but also instantly connect you to the internet which is vital for so many scenarios from like school to business or even leisure, you know, I'm sure we can think of some use for it. But overall, Hawaii was a really awesome experience. Uh, I got to learn, connect with a few friends, meet a few others, and take in the beautiful sights and foods of Maui. This was actually my first time there and I loved it. Definitely gotta go back again. <laughs> How 
could I forget, I actually got challenged to a game of horse by this guy, Bo, the sports pro and life coach at Grand Wale Resort and Spa. Now he told me he never lost a game. And I gotta say, after walking onto the court with him, I can see why. Don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. <laughs> he was literally making some of the most difficult trick shots I have ever seen. High five again, high five again. That's All right, now the hardest shot. Quite impressive. He even taught me a few and although I didn't land all of them, I at least landed one of them and that was good enough for me. Now the fun didn't stop there because I also got a chance to attend my first luau. The food was awesome, the scene, the vibe, and even this cool special edition Qualcomm Tiki mug makes me smile right now. Everything was just so nice. And then, then the performance. The dancers came out, they completely captivated the crowd. <laughs> Good times, good times. And I gotta say, I do hope to capture more of them on the new Samsung Galaxy S10. Ooh, I think I might start calling my rumor roundups the Tech T. Hopefully that is not taken. And uh, hopefully y'all like that idea just as much as I do. Let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts. For when I do my rumor roundups, I might, I might just put them under that title so you know. You know, it'll be our little thing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know down below in the comment section some of the things that you think the Galaxy S10 might have. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.